Cuba has a history as rich and proud and complicated as any country. Though there are many positive and beautiful aspects to culture here, due to many factors, the last 60 years have been very difficult for Cuba's poor. Most of Cuba's population live on less than $25 per month and have no safety net for their basic human needs. Most residents are provided water every other day, which they store in rooftop containers. But many who live in lean-to shelters can only collect and store water in buckets. Even water that comes through the city's pipes is prone to bacteria with little to no treatment. Millions are reduced to washing in and collecting water from contaminated rivers. The incidence of diseases for both humans and animals is prevalent and untold numbers die from its effects. Mi esposa y yo por más de 10 años estuvimos orando para que Dios enviara ángeles para que nos ayudaran porque nuestra iglesia es pequeña y no teníamos eh, en manos suficiente para eh, predicar el evangelio en la comunidad y, y especialmente en estos barrios marginales de la ciudad. José and I, we are serving the Lord in a Baptist church in our community, La Ceiba. Y damos gracias a Dios porque desde el tiempo que Dios nos puso en este lugar hemos sentido la pasión de trabajar con la comunidad de una manera bien especial, no solo a través de la enseñanza bíblica, sino también a través de la demostración bíblica del amor, de la misericordia, del cuidado. Our purpose is to share the living water that is Jesus, but at the same time bless them with healthy water. Hi, my name is Dan Brady. Recently, my wife Kathy and I joined a group of members from Grace Bible Church, along with our new good friends from First Baptist Church in Allegan, Michigan, on a mission trip to Havana, Cuba. We were there with an organization called Filter of Hope, which distributes water filters to needy throughout the Caribbean. When we heard this trip announced in church, Dan and I immediately looked at each other and said, we need to go, we need to do this. The bonus of it being a mission trip, working with clean water, providing families with this life-changing addition to their home, uh, just made it all the more sweeter. When I heard about Filter of Hope and the filter that they created, to be able to go on the trip and see how it works and really be able to give this gift to people there who have no other way to get clean water. The kit that Filter of Hope provided for us was amazingly simple. I mean, it took maybe five to seven minutes to put together the simplicity of putting a hole in the bottom of a five gallon bucket or whatever container, screwing two pieces together, attaching a hose to the filter and adding water uh, was all there was to it. They work off of gravity. They provide a very simple process for cleaning. They can last up to 10 years and filter a substantial amount of water throughout the day. The parallels between sharing the gospel and offering clean water were obvious. The water filter was an amazing example of what Jesus does for us, so we use that uh, to represent Jesus and the cleansing of our lives when we submit ourselves and, and accept what he's done on the cross. So that was an amazing picture that we had readily available to us as we shared the gospel. There were at least six different interpreters that we worked with and they were absolutely phenomenal people. They love the Lord and they have such a heart for the Cuban people to know Jesus. Es eh, importante y es eh, necesario que los hermanos de Estados Unidos vengan a trabajar con nosotros aquí en la predicación del Evangelio. Porque eh, tal vez en los lugares que nosotros no llegamos o en los lugares que a nosotros no nos abren las puertas porque ya saben que somos de la iglesia, eh, sí le abren a los hermanos de Estados Unidos las puertas a los hogares y, y son bien recibidos en nuestra comunidad. Cubans love the American culture and American people. So just by seeing you in their doors and you asking them to come into their daily life, for you it's an open door. They don't care about politics in between countries, they care about you as people, they love you. We were welcomed in in every house we were at with such hospitality and just a natural uh, graciousness from the people. I always felt welcome and love, and at the end they kissed you and hugged you, and several of them cried when you left. 
Filter of Hope as an organization is amazing. They're very well organized. They're ready to greet teams. They've got the, the homes have already been contacted. So the families know we're coming. We're not doing any cold calling. So when we arrive, they've got their bucket ready. They're ready to go. We are so thankful for the people from United States, the teams from the different universities and different churches to accomplish our commission of Evangelize Cuba. So the value for the kingdom is that we are adding souls. We are inviting them to come to Christ, trying to take them out of their darkness because they might have some water, but they don't know that there is a savior that wants to provide more than water. And there is a savior that wants to provide the real life that is beyond this life, is eternal life. And we'll give them that hope that they have been looking for, but they don't know where to find it. Yo creo que este grupo de hermanos y otros muchos que pueden surgir podrían ayudarnos, no solo mandando dinero, porque muchas veces el dinero contamina y muchas veces el dinero desvía la atención de lo más importante. Más bien una mano ayuda, más bien un consuelo, más bien un respaldo, más bien su presencia entre nosotros trabajando juntos para el reino de Dios y haciendo tesoros en los cielos.